Hey guys, my name's Tom Park. I'm a professional underwater filmmaker and for the last few weeks I've been playing around with the Akaso Brave 7. Now we're just about to jump in for a free dive and I just wanted to quickly walk you through some of my favorite settings so that you can set up yours the same way I do. Now jumping into the settings, first thing you're going to get to choose from is your resolution. Now it depends on what you want to film, either I'd recommend shooting in 4K30 or if you're like me and you prefer that buttery smooth slow-mo footage, something like 108060, which is my personal favorite setting. Moving down, image stabilization, I'd turn that on. The image stabilization in this camera has had an upgrade and I found it actually works pretty well. Moving down, you've got the option of uh, H.264 or H.265. Depends on your computer, but if you're using something modern, I'd uh, put it in H.265. Scrolling down past the next few, we don't need these. Audio recording, I would turn that off. I don't think we need audio, especially when we're filming underwater. So turn that off. Exposure value, now it depends on what you're using. If you're using lights, I would suggest turning this down to minus one. If, or if you're shooting outside somewhere like right now, turning it down to minus one will give you more detail and allow you to save those highlights a little bit better. Um, however, if you don't have any lights and you're filming just underwater, I would usually put this on zero, just keeping it nice and even. Scrolling further down, white balance, that doesn't matter, surprisingly, and I'll explain why in a minute. And that gives us to the end of the first setting. Moving on to the second row, onto the angles, the first main setting I would change. Now, for underwater shooting, we want that ultra wide look and we want to be able to get really close to our subject. So I would recommend turning this all the way uh, as wide as you can, up to 170 degrees. Scrolling on down, the next one is probably the most important setting we have. And that is the diving mode. Now I would turn this on. And what this is going to do is it's basically going to add in a red filter over the lens and add in almost an underwater white balance for you, bringing back all of those underwater colors. Scrolling further down, we have a few more settings. ISO is probably the next one. I would just leave that on auto. Now scrolling down, the next main setting we're gonna change is the date stamp. Now this one got me pretty good. I would turn this off immediately. If you don't, what it'll do is it will embed a large date and time stamp across on the top corner of your video. So definitely recommend turning that off. Moving down, there's a couple other settings like auto power off and all that. More personal preference. And that is uh, pretty much everything. So with the camera set up, we're gonna jump in, go film some beautiful underwater footage and really hope this video helped you.